what's up guys it's Talha here and in this video I'm going to show you how to model Mukarnas in Revit for those who don't know about Mukarnas well it's a uh, you can say it's a decorative elements in Islamic architecture so anyway let's get started so here I am in Revit and first we will create the arch so let's go to massing and site and select in place mass and you can name it if you want now let's create the reference line first just create like this and then go to the front view and first we will set the work plane so you have to click set then just select pick a plane and ok and just hover over this reference line and hit tab just hover over this reference line and then hit tab key it will highlight this face then click and the work plane now set to this face so let's set the line and draw our arch here maybe 20 feet height and let's draw an arc here like so you can see I did not join these two lines because if you if you already join this these two lines Revit will not create the revolve so we will fix this later on now let's draw the line here and you can see we got this kind of shape here now select all these lines and click create form here and it will give you these two options so we want a revolve here so I will select revolve and now let's make it half so we don't want the complete revolve so select this and here you will get the end angle let's make it 180 enter and we got only half of this now let's fix fix this part here so select select the mass then edit profile and then go to the front view again now you can join these two lines so use trim and extend to join these two and finish now let's let's go to 3d and you can see we have created the arch we have to divide this mass so select this and click here divide surface and in the properties you can see here no pattern so we we want to change the pattern here so just click here and scroll down and select this rhomboid and let's change the size here the spacing of this so i will make and let's make change the distance to maybe eight inches i guess and here also make it 8 inches so we have finished modeling with this arch now we have to create a new family so let's go to file new family and here you have to select curtain panel pattern based select this and open and the first thing you need to do here is select the grids and change change the change it from rectangle to rhomboid here yeah, select this and and let's change the spacing also let's make it one foot one foot by one foot and uh, now just zoom in and let's create our pattern so first let's draw a line from the center to center here and place this point element in the center of this line now we have to set the face we have to set the work plane again so select set work plane and just hover over this point and it will highlight the face so click now we can draw the vertical line uh, maybe six inches now we will place another point element on the top of this line here so select point element and place it here and delete all these we don't need this anymore now select the line and we will 
we will create the faces here so you can see it's not snapping this point here so we have to turn the, the thread is snapping on so check this and now we can snap the points okay you can see we have created something like this now let's uh, let's create let's uh, make make these face, faces solid so you have to select these three reference lines and then click create form okay it will give you these two options we want this one so select this and now repeat the same procedure with other three faces too select the select the reference line and then here just hit tab to highlight the reference line then hold control select select again so there you go we have created our pattern now let's load this into our project but before that i will add a material parameter to it so select all filter and check none we only want the curtain panels select this and ok and here in the materials and finishes just click on this small button here to create a new parameter and then click here let's name it make it type then ok ok now let's load this into our project let's go to 3d and select this mask and go to the properties and here you will see the family which we have just created so select this and there you go we got our mukannas design or the pattern in Revit you can you can change the sizes of these if you want you can just select the pattern you have to select the mask not the family so just hit tab key it will highlight the mask then select and okay just try to select the mask okay still yeah you only need to select the whole thing then it will give you the distance here you can you can change it as per your requirement you can make them one foot or whatever you like now let's try to change the material so you need to hit tab key and select the element then edit edit type and you will get the material parameter here now let's say you want the smooth edges you can see here these are very sharp so let's go back to the family editor and we will create a frame around it so first let's change it to wireframe and let's place a point element here in the middle of this line and now set the work plane so click set and just highlight the just hover over this dot and it will show you the face so click and now and now let's draw a rectangle the rectangle okay you have to turn off the 3d snapping so just turn this off and now you can draw on this face so let's make it maybe 0.5 inch okay now let's draw an arc here now delete these lines we don't need them anymore and now select select the select this profile and then all these reference lines just hold control key to select multiple now we you have to click create form and it will create a sweep around it now select this sweep if you want to apply a different material to it you can create a new parameter for this one so let's call it frame or whatever now just click ok ok again 
now let's save this family first so save as family and just change the name save and load it into our project now select the mass and in the properties you will find the new family in the same uh, under this rhomboid so select select this new family and there you go we have now the smooth edges you can change the size of the frame if you want so let's try to change the material of this select and let's apply uh, maybe white material then to the edges okay and this one let's just copy and paste it here we will apply a different material to the edges so right click duplicate and just uh, duplicate the asset then change the color maybe let's make it a bit darker like this then okay okay we better change it we better add it into it so let's change the color from here okay okay again and you can see it's changed the color so that's it for this tutorial i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you guys in the next video